How's everyone doing this Friday afternoon? I'm here today with a request to show how to create relationships in an access database. What a relationship means is that all your tables are linked together, about like a man and a woman. A man and a woman creates a child. That child is linked to their parent. Well, this is basically the same concept, which means that whenever you input data into a subtable of the parent, it will be all linked together. Okay, what we have here uh, right now, we've got three blank tables. We have our parent table, which is right here. And this is just our main table. This holds the main content, which describes what our table is for and also describes what our subtables are for. Then we have our F child table, which is our first table after the parent. Now, this uh, table will be linked to our parent, and then this table will be linked to our S child table. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now I'm using Access uh, 2010. Uh, this can be done in Access uh, 2000 and above. And, but in Access 2000 and above, you, or Access 2000, 2003, I think, I'm not sure about 2007, you will have this blank grayed area within uh, Access. I think it might be silver. But you would right click here whenever we get to the relationship part. You would right click in this area and choose relationship. So let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do here, we're going to right click and choose design view on our parent table. <clears throat> now, it automatically creates an ID called auto number. Let's change that to PID. And what PID means is parent ID. And then we've got our P title, which is text and then our P body, which is going to be our memo. And then we're going to save this. So now let's right click and choose design view on our F child. And here we're going to change this to FID, F-I-D for first ID. Now we need to connect this one to our parent. So we will choose PID and that will be a number. And then we have our first title then we have our first body. And then we save that one. And now we open up our S child. Open it up in design view. And we name this one Sid for second ID. Now we have to link this one to our first uh, table. So we will create the FID table. And it will be a number. And we will remove the Q. And then this will be our S title and then our S body. So, we've got our parent here with our PID ID, and then we've got our first child with our first ID, which is linked to our parent by the PID, and then we've got our second child table with its S ID, which is linked to the first child with its F ID or FID. So, but they're not actually linked together right now. Now, as I mentioned uh, just right before we created our tables, is that the relationship. So remember in Access 2000 and above, you will right click in the center area here that's blank. So you got to minimize all this stuff and then right click in this area and choose relationship. But inside of Access 2010, we're going to choose database tools. And I think this is the same in 2007. I, I cannot really remember. So we click on relationships, and then this shows all of our tables. So what we're going to do is that we're going to click on our PID for our parent, and we're going to drag this over to here. And then we're going to create it. Now this links our parent to our first child table. Now we're going to link our first child table to our second child table. So we click on FID and drag it over here and then we create. So we got our parent ID linked to our parent ID of our first child. Then we got our first ID linked to our first ID of the second child. So save it, and then we can close out. We no longer need this area. So each one of these tables can be closed out now. So now let's open up our parent. Okay, now this is opened up in data view. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create some simple text and then this right here will allow us to create our links between each one of them. 
also what we're going to keep an eye on here is our PID. Once we start typing here, it will automatically generate our first PID ID number. So this is our parent ID. As you can see, it created the ID of one. And this is our, let's change that parent title, and then parent body. Okay, now, right here opens up our first child. This is our first title. So this right here is also going to create a fit. Now, as you can see, you cannot see our um, PID of our first child table. The reason why we can't see that is because it's right here. It is what's actually linked to our PID of our parent table. So let's uh, do our first title first. Okay, now this creates a little plus here as well. Drop it down and then we have our second child table. Now as of the first one, you cannot see the FID because the FID is linked to the first table. And so with each link, you lose that column of your table in your database. It's not gone, it's just invisible because it is linked to the last table. So then we create our uh, second title and then our second body. Okay. Now as you can see here we've got our parent, we've got our first uh, table after our parent which is linked to our parent and then we have our second table which is linked to our first table. Now you can add in as much information as you want. So this would be the first title, second entry. Information goes here. Okay, now as you can see, we've got two entries within our first table after our parent. And this one is linked to our second table and it's already got its information there. And as you can see here, this one is blank. So it will create our second entry, second information. Okay, now, this one right here, we got our first title that is linked to our second title. Then we got our first title, second entry, which is linked to our second entry and do the same thing up here with our parents. So this would be our, uh, let's do uh, second parent, parent information about the second. Okay. Now, this is our first one. And this is our second one. This one is blank because we have not created a new entry up underneath our first table, up underneath our second entry of our parent. So we just create a uh, second parent entry information here. And then we do the same thing here. This would be our second, this would be our uh, third entry, second parent, third entry. Okay. Now, first parent, second parent. And that's basically how it's done. Just remember, each ID has to be Okay, and our parent, we have to have our our main ID has to be an auto number. Okay, and then our parent goes to our first table after that. So whatever table that you're going to have initially linked to your parent table, you want it to be, um, um, you have to have the PID linked to that first child table, which we have right here.
Okay, and every table that is linked to your first child table has to be linked in by the first child table's ID, which is our first child table, our first ID. So inside of our second child table, we would have our first ID. And then if you was to create another one, let's say that you created a third table. Let's just, uh, child. Okay. Let's say that you got a third child table here, and you would need to create that to your second table. You would go in here. This would be our TID, which would be our third child table. Now, you're going to connect this one to the S child, so it would be SID number. And this would be the T title. And then our T body. Now, inside of our relationship, we will have to show table, add in our third child table. Okay, now our third child table will come in through here. Drag it down to there, create, right click save and close out of this now and then close all and then let's open up our parent let's open it up in data sheet view here okay now we've got our parent our fid and now we've got another one we open it up and this is our third table so this is our third title third table of the second table relationship to the first table connected to the parent. And that connects all of our tables together. So our PID connected to our first table's PID and then our first table is connected to our second table's FID and then our second table is connected to our third table's SID. So that's how your relationships work. Each one has to be connected through an ID number that is the same. So don't, don't go in and try to create different ID numbers and try to connect each ID number because then you just want to get yourself confused. So keep your ID numbers the same inside of each table. And then that way you can look back and go, okay, this is how each one of them connects. So that should cover it, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV. Have an awesome day and a great weekend. School should be out in your area. School is almost out in my son, with my son. So summertime is about here. So have an awesome summer. Thank you.